Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your uh, Publibator or Little Giant uh, Incubator for chicken eggs or whatever kind of eggs you want to hatch. The cheapest way to get your incubator is to buy it without any accessories. And to me, one of the most important accessories to this, there's two. One, you want an egg turner and you have to kind of buy that. And two, the second one is uh, putting a fan in your incubator so your heat temperature is the same all throughout. Um, I had both of these without fans in them and I was hatching about 50%. And once I put the fan in, I mean 50% was the best. But once I put the fan in, I get up to 70 to 80% uh, hatch rate, which is pretty good. So, we've already upgraded this one, um, and what we've done is we've put in a computer fan. Uh, any computer, uh, and all those old computers that everybody's throwing away, has these little cooling fans that are 12 volt. And uh, so what we did is we took a 12 volt fan out of a compu computer, and we took an old printer uh, plug-in which converts your AC to your 12 volt uh, that you need for your fan. So, because these are actually hooked up through your computer uh, voltage conversion and you don't need the whole computer for that. All you need is a little plug-in. Uh, even your uh, old charger plug-ins for your cell phones, those are usually 12, 12 volts. Uh, so it's real easy to get this for nothing, uh, and it's real easy to get the fan out of an old computer. Uh, a lot of fans have two or three of these in them, and they all work. They're all 12 volt. They're all the right uh, speed. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the fan in and and get it working. Um, all both of these come already pre-drilled for your fan. Um, there's, there's four holes, they're about a quarter inch round, and your foam is about a half inch thick. So you need about a two inch screw, or maybe, maybe an inch and a half. Because uh, you want to go through this much of your fan and then half inch of foam. Um, to buy the upgrade on the incubator is usually $45, $50 more, and if you buy the fan by itself that goes specifically in here, uh, that's another $40, $45 plus your shipping and whatever. So anyway, you can basically do it for free, and that's, that's what we're going to do. So what I've done is I've got some, uh, i got two and a half inch screws, they're kind of long, but they'll work. And uh, so I've got my, my screws, my fan. I don't know if I'm in the fingers here. There we go. All right. So, what you're going to need is your fan, your voltage, and something to secure it. And uh, you'll connect these two after you have the fan going through. The hub abator has a hole right in the middle, which that comes real convenient um, for wiring your fan in. The uh, little giant doesn't have the hole, but it has air holes, and you can run your wire through there. But like I was saying, your, your holes are drilled perfectly for these little fans. They're just a standard three inch fan. And you don't necessarily want your fan sitting on the foam, and so what I've done here is I've created these little quarter inch spacers, and I'll set them in there for when I tighten the screws, it'll hold the fan 
off the foam so I have better circulation when it's running. Actually, what I probably need to do is get my screws started before I put the spacers in. I'm going to put these little washers in here. They're little rubber washers I, I found, but just about anything will work. These screws I have are eighth inch and the holes are quarter inch, and so I don't want my nut falling into the hole. So you need some kind of washer. And you can get them at Home Depot, I'm sure, for a penny. If you don't already have them sitting around. These eighth inch screws I think came from an electrical outlet, uh, old outlet uh, screws. They have a fine thread and they seem to work real well for this. Okay, so um, before we go any further, I'm going to uh, bring you a little closer. Okay, so here you can get a better view of the fan. Like I say, it's just a regular computer fan. And this isn't something you have to hire an electrician for. Uh, you, the voltage is 12 volts. Your amps, amps are what is the hard part about electricity. Uh, this is DC and it's a, a milliamp, which is, it can't actually can't even shock you. So while you're dealing with this, um, you're not gonna be pulling any extra voltage or much extra voltage to keep this running. Um, it still only costs about four dollars to run an incubator for uh, for 21 days to hatch eggs. Okay, so you see the screws here and the nuts. Okay, so we've got the fan installed, and now all we need to do is um, hook up our power to our fan. And what we're going to do is something really simple, is a couple of wire nuts, they're like 50 cents at the store, and we will just twist these wires together. This is pretty small gauge wire, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bend it over, twist it together, bend it over, and then get it started in here. And then screw on the cap.
All right, so you're finished. Uh, let's get it plugged in and uh, listen to the fan, make sure it works. All right, the fan is working. So now you've got an upgraded incubator and you can hatch more eggs. Good luck with your incubator. Here's a close-up of your wiring. The wire nuts, uh, they're very simple to install. Uh, they, as they tighten, they tighten up the wire and you're good to go.